Hello everybody, today we will take up uh, manufacturing module of ERP next in uh, multiple videos. We will go ahead and uh, configure manufacturing module. To start with you need uh, certain warehouses, let's go ahead and uh, create some warehouse. System will ask you to choose a particular parent warehouse. Let's say we keep it under all warehouses and let's call it raw materials. We'll save it. This way we have created a warehouse primarily focusing on manufacturing module. This can also be created from the uh, store inventory module. We'll go ahead and create a workstation. Workstation is the location where a particular manufacturing is going to be executed. Uh, it could be a human, it could be a machine. Let's call it A. We can define uh, production capacity and some additional costs uh, per hour which will help us in analyzing the cost and generate reports. We have defined certain costing here. We go ahead and create an operation. So operation could be different processes within the manufacturing. Let's say you are building a road so you can define multiple operations. If you are manufacturing a, a, a plastic box you can define melting plastic as one of the operations. We go ahead and create a finished goods. We can define its item group. Let's call it a uh, finish good item group as well. <clears throat> we have saved this item group within the system. Come back to manufacturing. Finished item name. Choose the item group. You want to maintain the stock. Let's define certain opening stock and define a selling rate also. We can uh, define this and edit it in full page also. We are going to click on this and this will allow us to have a lot of fields and information. So we have defined an HSN SSC code very important as far as GST is considered. We have defined its uh, default unition of matter. Opening stock has also been defined here. 
in the detailed description you can define what all the physical items going back to manufacturing now we go ahead and create raw materials let's say we choose rm1 let's call it raw material 1 and under item group we will choose to put it under raw material itself okay we save it if you want to further define further raw materials and see them we can go to item list you can see these list if we click on raw material we will be able to further modify this so for example we define its hsn sse code description is available here you can define different barcodes you can define its current inventory level okay auto you reordering units of measure is also available and different variation is also available okay we'll give look at these details further we will see in the next video Thank you. Like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel videos and you will be getting a lot. And yes, don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos, this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.